Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to talk about metaplasia versus dysplasia. If you were asked in Viva regarding what is metaplasia, what are the examples of metaplasia, or is metaplasia reversible? Another question is, what is dysplasia? Give an example of dysplasia. What is neoplasia? What is CIN? Cervical Intraepithelial Neoplasia. I hope in this video, you will find the answer to those questions. Before we start, there is always a disclaimer. And the disclaimer is the same in all my videos. Thank you. Now let's begin. Metaplasia and dysplasia are terms that it are terms that is used in pathology to describe or which refer to how tissue cells appear through a microscope. Before we start to describe the difference between metaplasia and dysplasia, just know that there is a similarities between metaplasia and dysplasia. Both are two types of cellular changes that occur under the influence of various factors and both are abnormal changes in the nature of a tissue. What are the difference between metaplasia versus dysplasia? First, we talk about the definition itself. In metaplasia, apart from it is a reversible condition, it is defined as replacement or conversion of a mature, differentiated cell types or normal cells with another mature, differentiated cell type that is not normally present in that tissue. For dysplasia, it is an aberrant cell growth. Or we can define dysplasia as a development of abnormal types of cells within a tissue which may signify a stage preceding the development of cancer. Number two, the difference between metaplasia versus dysplasia. That is its causative factors. For metaplasia, the causes are due to adaptive response to injuries agents. Normal adaptive response or physiological changes in the cell type, example during ossification of cartilage into bone. Metaplasia is triggered as a result of environmental stimuli, either for example excessive acid, bar, cigarette smoke and alcohol consumption, or by the actions of microorganisms. Example, Helicobacter pylori and HPV, human papilloma virus. If in metaplasia, the causes are due to adaptive process that occur due to an external stimulation, in dysplasia, it occurs due to an alteration of the genetic material. The genetic alterations involve example, are inactivation of tumor suppressor gene and activation of oncogenes. Now, number three, the difference between metaplasia versus dysplasia are the area or tissue that are involved. In metaplasia, it usually occurs in various types of tissue. Example, in squamous cells, intestinal cell region, etc., etc., in dysplasia, it may occur in the epithelium. Number four, some of the examples that involve in metaplasia are A. The change of respiratory epithelium of a chronic smoker into squamous epithelium due to irritation of the tobacco smoke. B. The change of squamous epithelium into columnar epithelium causing a Barrett's esophagus due to acid reflux. Number C, the change of 
glandula epithelium into squamous epithelium due to the low pH of the vagina. Some of the example of dysplasia include the following. A. Cervical intraepithelial neoplasia, CIN. It is a dysplasia of the uterine cervix that may lead to cervical cancer. It is also known as cervical dysplasia. B. Chemical injury in the bronchi. It may be observed among cigarette smokers where there are somatic genetic changes. C. Septo-optic dysplasia. It is a disorder of an early brain development. It is defined by three characteristic features. Pituitary gland hypoplasia, abnormal development of along the midline of the brain, and underdevelopment or hypoplasia of the optic nerve. Additional note regarding the cervical intraepithelial neoplasia, CIN. What is CIN? It is a precancerous condition whereby there is an abnormal cell growth on the surface of the cervix. Intraepithelial means that the cells are present on the surface of the epithelial tissue of the cervix. What is the definition of neoplasia? It is an abnormal growth of new cells or tissue. What is the classification of cervical intraepithelial neoplasia, CIN? It is classified according to the epithelial tissue involvement. For low-grade neoplasia, CIN1, the dysplasia only involves one-third thickness of the epithelium. In CIN1, there is low potential for progression to malignancy and high potential for regression of dysplasia, especially in a young female. This is due to the intact immune, immune response system and rapid turnover of cells on the cervix. For CIN2 and 3, CIN again is cervical intraepithelial neoplasia. Both are considered a high-grade lesion. They are higher potential for progression and lower potential for regression. For CIN2, there is an abnormal changes about two-thirds of the epithelial layers. For CIN3, it affects more than two-thirds of the epithelium. Finally, number 5. Regarding the difference between metaplasia versus dysplasia, whether it is reversible or irreversible condition. For metaplasia, generally, most can return to normal conditions if the stimulus is removed. That means it is reversible. It does not lead to formation of cancer. Unfortunately, there are some exceptions. Some Metaplasia condition, example, Barrett esophagus, is a precancerous condition. In addition, a metaplasia unaddressed for a considerable, considerable time period can become dysplasia and turn into cancer. For dysplasia, the number 5 different is whether reversible or irreversible, generally, in dysplasia, most are irreversible condition or process. Most of the dysplasia will lead to cancer predisposition. Summary regarding the difference between metaplasia versus dysplasia are Number 1. The definition itself. Number 2. The causes that can trigger metaplasia and dysplasia. Number 3. The area or tissue that involves Number 4. The example of metaplasia and dysplasia. And finally, number 5. Whether metaplasia or dysplasia are reversible or irreversible. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you have gained some knowledge from this video. See you next time. Bye.